I like what you did there, Victoria Aviar. <laughs> Marina Ray, welcome back to my channel and today we're doing a book haul. The first book is Immortal Rules and it is about a girl who has to become what she hates the most in order to save the world and that's a, that's about all I know about it. I know that she does die and what she becomes is something she absolutely hates and she has to go into the inner world or something like that in order to save the world. I don't like to know about, about the books that I read before I read them because I feel like Sometimes the back of the book can give you the whole plot. The next one is Size by Neil Shusterman. And I know that it's about population control, really. They're these size, and they kill who they need to kill in order to keep the population at bay. There's no fame in that way. There's no hunger. There's no, there's not a lot of violence, anything like that. So this is something different that I'm excited to actually read. I think this is considered a dystopian, and I haven't read many dystopians, so I'm excited to actually get this one read. The next three books are the Incarnate series by Jody Meadow, Incarnate, Asunder, and Infinite. I don't know much about these. It's about this world where souls are reincarnated and in one instance, Anna, I believe, Anna is new and she's not a reincarnation. I got all three of these because I got them super cheap on Amazon. If y'all have watched any of my other videos, you know that I cannot DNF a book and I cannot not finish a series. So I figured, why not just get them all right now? The next book I'm sure you guys have heard of by now and it is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. On the back of it, it says, I was the girl who loved the Ripper and that's enough for me, like what? <laughs> it's got extremely good reviews on Goodreads and other booktubers seem to really like it. So I'm excited to read this. The next book is Geekerella by Ashley Poston and it is about a girl who goes to a Comic Con, I think, and that was enough for me. I've never been to a Comic Con. I want to go to a Comic Con, but I live in the middle of nowhere and you have to drive like a long way to get to one. It's about a girl that goes there and there's also a teen actor going to be there. I think like a heartthrob Darian Freeman who's going to be there. It sounds really interesting. The next one is the first two books in the Lux series by Jennifer L. Armentrout, Obsidian, and Onyx. And it's about this hot alien. That's all I know about it. <laughs> There's an alien next door and with his looming height and eerie green eyes, he's hot until he opens his mouth. He's infuriating, arrogant, stab worthy. But when a stranger attacks me and Damon literally freezes time with a wave of his hand, he marks me. That's all I needed to know. I read that and that was all I needed to know. I love romance. I love paranormal romance. Paranormal romance is my favorite, so why wouldn't I love alien romance? Turns out he has a galaxy of enemies wanting to steal his abilities and the only way I'm getting out of this alive is by sticking close to him until my alien mojo fades. If I don't kill him first, that is. How interesting does that sound? I'm not going to read the second book paragraph because I don't want to spoil it for myself or for you guys, but that just sounds really cool. The next two books are Harry Potter 3 and 4. I've, I've never read the Harry Potter series before, so I've recently read the first two, I think, right there. Right there? Yeah. I've recently read the first two, and I went ahead and watched the movies. I hadn't even watched the movies, guys, till like two months ago. So I went ahead and watched the movies and spoiled myself on this, and I regret it so bad because that was some crazy crap that happened in those mo in those movies. So I'm wondering if the same crazy crap is going to happen in these books. I don't know, but I'm excited to read them. I was never an avid reader whenever I was younger. My love for reading didn't come till later in life. So I'm catching up to all the cool books that you guys have probably already read. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. And the last book is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, I think. And it's about a girl's world that's divided by blood. People have different colors of blood in this book. There's like red blood and silver blood. And based on what color of blood you have, it says Mare and her family are the lowly reds destined to serve the silver. So the red blood people serve the silver blood people. The silver blood people are considered elite, whose supernatural abilities make them nearly gods. Mare steals what she can to help her family survive, but a twist of fate leads her to the royal palace itself, where in front of the king and all his nobles, she discovers an ability she didn't know she had, except her blood is red. Wait, so she has red blood, but she has an ability, and everybody sees her do that ability, and they're like, what the heck? Oh. Ooh. I like what you did there, Victoria Aviard. 
To hide this impossibility, the king forces her into the role of a lost silver princess. Oh, so now she has to become somebody else. And he betrothes her. Wait, he betrothes her to one of his own sons? What? As Mare is drawn further into the silver world, her actions put into motion a deadly and violent dance, pitting prince against prince and Mare against her own heart. From debut author Victoria Aveyard comes a lush, vivid fantasy series where loyalty and desire can tear you apart and the only certainty is betrayal. Okay, so at first I was a little bit mad that he changed her identity and put her into hiding as a long-lost silver princess and then had the audacity to betroth her to his son. But then when I think about it, if you're used to being a lowly red blood and you automatically become a silver blood overnight, like... I don't know if I'd be too mad at that. I don't know. But that seems really interesting. I didn't know much about it when I picked it up. I just knew that people liked it a lot. And that's it, guys. That's all for this haul. I have tons of other books like that you can't see right now that I haven't read. But if I did every book that I haven't read, if I hauled every book that I had recently bought, because I'm new to booktube and I'm new to reading, then it would be like a 45-minute video. It's already, like, before I edit this, it's 13 minutes. So... I'll come at you next week with another haul video. How about that? Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to watch my other videos. I have some really interesting videos on particular books that I liked, that I've reviewed, and other stuff like that. Just go check it out. But yeah, I'll see you guys.